I'm Kel Guerin, co-founder and chief innovation officer at Ready Robotics. And I'm Jessica Hudak, a technical writer at the customer success team here at Ready. And this year we're celebrating 4th of July a little bit early by having a robot cookout. That's right. Today we're going to be programming this ABB robot to cook and assemble hamburgers using Forge OS 5. And more specifically, we will be using the Task Canvas app, which makes it easy for anybody to program a robot. The ABB is one of several robots supported by Forge OS 5, including Fanuc, Yaskawa, Epson, and Stavli. And like ABB, many robots from these companies are used in food grade applications. So we're actually going to have the ABB robot do a couple of different things today, and that's why we've equipped it with this multi-tool looking like end-of-arm tooling, where we actually have a uh, just a plain um, spatula on one end, and we have this special food-grade suction cup on the other side. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be using the spatula for flipping the hamburger patties, and then we're going to be using the suction cup for assembling the toppings in the finished burger. So we're going to begin by programming moves for placing this hamburger patty into the grill. And doing this is super easy in Task Canvas, where every single move is a block in an easy to read flowchart. So the way that we're going to do this is starting with the spatula underneath the patty. And in order to get it there, we have to make that sort of same sharp, jerky motion that you would if you were in your kitchen holding onto your spatula. And uh, fortunately, the robot that we're using, this ABB, can make that sort of fast, jerky motion very accurately so that we can successfully get underneath the burger and place it onto the grill. It's things like that that we take for granted as people that you really have to have the right setup and the right robot to actually make those fast motions for uh, this type of application. So once the patty is on the spatula, we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna pick it up at a little bit of an angle so that the patty doesn't fall off the spatula. And then we can create a move block to move it over the griddle and release it with the same quick motion. So the burger's been cooking for about three minutes now, and we want the robot to ultimately, when the program is running, wait for about six minutes on each side so that we have the right cook. We don't want to have a raw robot burger after all. So flipping the burger once that six minutes is over so that we can cook the other side is something that's a little tricky. And because we just have a uh, single spatula here instead of a fancier tooling on the end of the robot, we're going to flip again the same way that you would in your kitchen by just getting underneath and flipping it over. If you had fancier tooling like tongs or something like that, you could maybe grab onto the, uh, the burger and flip it over and, and make this nice motion. But we're just going to flip it because that's the option that we have with the spatula. So we waited another six minutes and now we can finally program picking up the patty and placing it on a bun. So we're gonna use the same scooping motion when picking up the patty, but we're gonna have to be a little delicate when placing it on the bun. Okay, so we've got our finished patty nicely placed on the bottom of the bun, and we're gonna put a couple other things together to finish the burger. We've got a slice of tomato, we've got some lettuce, and we've got the top of the bun, which will all go in a nice stack right there, and we'll have the finished burger. Yeah, that's right. So the food grade section cup is going to be great for this because it can conform to the surface of each topping, so it can even pick up the lettuce, which is a little ripply. So once the patty is on the bun, we pick and place each topping onto the patty one by one. In Task Canvas, we are not only creating blocks for moving the robot, but also blocks to turn the suction cup on and off.
Sorry, we couldn't wait. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out more YouTube videos from Ready Robotics in the link in the description below. And if you want to learn more about how to program robots with Forge OS, then head over to ready-robotics.com. Did you try the prank? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well,